Welcome everyone to the Energy Circle. Today we'll talk about the energy of differentiation. We'll talk about what differentiation means, why it's important, sorry about that noise, why it's important and how it leads to liberation. Differentiation. So I took some time to research this on Google and I'd like to throw up some meanings that I found to share with you. Differentiation refers to the process of cells naturally becoming more distinct and specialized as they evolve. As we evolve, we differentiate not only physically, but also emotionally and psychologically from our family of origin. So it's this process of becoming more distinct, you could say more unique. From this perspective of family therapy, differentiation is the process of freeing yourself from your family's processes to define yourself. This means being able to have different opinions and values than your family members, but being able to stay emotionally connected to them. And here's my simple description of differentiation, the ability to have a different experience and perspective. So this skill of being able to have comfortably your own experience, your own perspective, your own emotions, your own meaning in any situation. As I mentioned earlier in past teachings, we tend to internalize bad experiences. When bad things happen, we tend to make it about us. What does it mean? about us and who we are. We also tend to internalize the projections of other people. So if we've had hard and stressful experiences in the past and somebody called us a bad name, like somebody who's thoughtless or inconsiderate or a jerk, uh, we're, we absorb it. We're not able sometimes to just let it fall off our back. We we take it in and we take it seriously. So these childhood experiences that when bad things happen, when I'm there, um, I am the cause of these bad things to happen. And it's truly an egoic response. When you're a child, you just don't know any better. You feel the experience and you merge with it. And you're unable to differentiate the experience and the people who are in that experience from yourself and who you are. And this is the way we end up processing negative experiences. So for example, being abandoned, being rejected by a primary caregiver is very traumatizing. And we might start to believe, for example, if our dad left, that somehow I caused it, I'm not good enough, so dad left. And when I get close to people, they leave because I'm not good enough. It turns into a story. And it's these stories and these experiences that create impressions in our nervous system and our energy in our body. They get stored in our nervous system like calcification, old guck that just needs to be wiped down. Um, so they're stored as stories in our bodies. Sometimes these stories aren't even in our conscious brain. They just live underneath as a, well, I'll live in a constant state of avoidance in order to protect myself I will, uh, when this hard or stressful thing comes up, 
I will just go the other way and I won't say anything or I'll, I'll jump ship first so nobody else can abandon me. And they become stored as stories and they shape our behavior and our consciousness and the way consciousness flows through us. They're like mythology that we absorb into our body system and we just play it out without even knowing that we're playing it out. But we tend to experience similar painful patterns over and over and over again without really knowing how to transform those patterns at the source. So whenever something bad happens that reminds you of something that happened in the past and childhood, there is a tendency to relive it in your body unconsciously. It just starts to, in a sense, flare up and you might find yourself and your stuff is up once you feel activated or triggered, maybe you're receiving the attention or the friendship or the relationship that you always wanted, but now all this fear is coming up underneath the surface, the fear of what has happened in the past. So there is this tendency that when certain things happen, you start telling yourself a story. You know, it's in the mind and it's getting circulated through the body. 